Hi everybody! My name is Jacob from Children's Museum Houston. I am in our Chevron Maker Annex and today I want to talk to all of you about something called circuit breadboards. So what I'm holding right now is called a circuit breadboard and you might be thinking to yourself that doesn't look like bread. Maybe it looks like a board but what does this have to do with bread? Well, it's called a breadboard because back in the day, like in 1920s or something, they would actually use those same cutting boards that you would cut bread on, and they would nail in the circuitry components and connect them on those to try out new circuits. But today we can work with something a little fancier. So I'm gonna show you what we now call breadboards. This is something that was kind of invented more in the 70s and that we use today. So this is our breadboard. I'm going to take it apart so that I can show you how it works. All right. So basically, the way that this works is it has a bunch of holes in it. So when you first look at one of these, it's very confusing. But if we take the back off, which I've already done, you can see that all of these holes are connected in a very specific way. So you see there's a long line here, a long line here, a long line here, and a long line here. So on the bottom there's two long lines, at the top there's two long lines. And then along the middle there's just a bunch of horizontal lines. So basically what we're showing you is that all of these rows in this, uh, all of these holes in this row are connected. All of the holes in this row are connected, and then when we get up to here, they're connected in columns. So these one, two, three, four, five, six holes are in a column and they're all connected. Then they're disconnected by this, and these six are in a column and they're connected. So you can see that in the back here. So you're able to connect different circuit components just by knowing which holes in the breadboard are connected to which other holes. So one other thing I wanna show you about the breadboard is kind of how it works. So I'm gonna poke out one of those little metal rods on the bottom um, that, we're, that I've been showing you are connected. Almost, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna take one of these little rods out. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So, I have this tiny little racket. And this is what goes inside the breadboard. And it's set up, you probably can't see it very well, but it's set up so that it grabs. It has like these little fingers that when you stick a certain component in, it grabs it and it holds it in place. And that's important because that lets the electricity run through the metal and to any other components that are plugged into this same thing. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can plug in different things to this to make all of these pieces connect and create a cool circuit. So I've already put these little wires in, and so that connects this row to these columns. So each one of these wires is connecting the row at the top to these different columns, and all of the ones over here are connecting the row at the bottom to these different columns. And that's gonna let us, you'll see in a minute, that's gonna let us have the electricity going all the way through these different components. So let me build this circuit for you. So what's happening here is we have a battery on this side and the positive side of this battery is getting sent up to this row. Then that positive uh, charge is going all the way across this row. So it's going into each one of these wires, which carries it into these three different columns, which connect to these LEDs. We then have three more jumper wires here connecting those same LEDs to the negative row here which goes all the way across through this jumper wire and into the negative battery. And that is how breadboards work. You just kind of have to get used to which holes are connected to which thing and you can start kind of prototyping your own circuits with these breadboards. So, once again, my name is Jacob from Children's Museum Houston. We are in the Chevron Maker Annex and that is what breadboards do. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.